Hi, meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now tab. Wrapping up another bright, cool, and dry day. Temperatures were about 6 degrees shy of the uh, normal high. We made it to uh, 47 this afternoon. The average high temperature now is in the low 50s, around 53. Unfortunately, uh, setting up for a pretty cold night tonight. Many areas late, late at night, just before daybreak tomorrow, getting down to the low and mid-20s. Look at this beautiful picture. Of course, the Newport Pell Bridge. We're taping this as of 717 this evening. Still got that reddish glow on the uh, western horizon. We're now setting the sun during the uh, early part of the uh, 7 o'clock hour. Uh, the atmosphere is very dry. Dry air cools off rapidly at night, so we do expect our temperatures to be... Uh, tumbling overnight into early tomorrow morning. High temps today, actually not 46, but rather 47 the high today in Providence. Many areas in the uh, middle 40s, and temperatures should drop off quite a bit uh, during the uh, overnight hours. So still chilly for now. But, uh, you know, this much advertised uh, warm up towards the end of the week and the weekend, you know, it's still a go. You know, come Saturday, inland spots will approach 60 or higher, but these warmer temperatures or these mild temperatures towards the end of the week and the weekend. They are very location dependent. The coastline should be cooler, you know, Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday. Each of those days will have a component of wind off the water. So, you know, for instance, Saturday in Newport will be nice, but not as warm as uh, inland areas. And then tracking a cold front for Sunday, the exact arrival time will determine when showers arrive. Right now we're thinking it's a late Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. But before the front gets here, we think we could briefly spike into the upper 50s to near 60 uh, early in the day on Sunday before temperatures start to cool towards the end of the day with some rain showers arriving late Sunday afternoon and into uh, Sunday evening. Satellite and radar composite, yeah, not much out there. Skies are clear all across New England little storm system on the uh, right hand side of your TV set or your screen uh, heading offshore. A uh, Canadian high pressure across the Great Lakes. This is really, um, it's now sitting over the over the Great Lakes. It's really a mound of chilly and dry air, that shading of blue across uh, New England right now. And that really settles in overnight into early tomorrow morning. Let me walk you through it hour by hour. And the forecast is pretty straightforward as far as sky condition, just clear. And watch as we take it into the overnight hours, falling into the low and mid-20s by 7 o'clock in the morning. A definite winter chill with some sunshine, but a decent temperature recovery by the afternoon. This is the time of year where you could be as cold as, say, you know, 25 degrees at sunrise and still manage to warm things up to almost 20, 25 degrees during the afternoon. So we're thinking most areas a Wednesday afternoon, upper 40s. A few spots could briefly uh, nudge 50. So we'll call that uh, seasonally cool. Then tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, clear and chilly once again. Maybe not as cold, but even Wednesday night looks uh, kind of chilly. For this evening, clear skies, cold by 11 o'clock, 31. And then uh, during the overnight hours and towards daybreak, we'll start things off uh, mid-20s. So um, cold start, plenty of sunshine. And then temperatures during the afternoon, on average, we're thinking upper 40s. A few spots away from the ocean could sneak in at uh, 50 degrees. All right, so where's this warm-up? Well, each day, each afternoon, gets gradually milder. Thursday, not bad. We should reach the uh, the lower 50s. So cool start early in the morning. 51 by afternoon with some sunshine. A few sprinkles are possible, or a couple of rain showers are possible Thursday night, but Thursday day looks dry. And even though we add extra clouds on Friday, it is a milder day, but again, inland. Best chance for upper 50s away from the coast. Upper 40s along the coastline with the wind off the water, kind of a cloud, hazy sun mix, but otherwise a comfortable day. Warmest day still looks like Saturday. We should get temperatures up low, perhaps even mid-60s, but again, take note where the warmer air is located inland. I mean, no surprise, the ocean is still kind of chilly, and with a wind off the water, a sea breeze, I mean, it'll still be beautiful, nice on Saturday down westerly Newport and Narragansett, but it will be uh, cooler there. And then we bring in these uh, showers, rain showers for Sunday. Right now we're thinking late Sunday afternoon. Now, if that cold front arrives sooner, we may end up several degrees cooler on Sunday, but we think the front should hold off long enough so that by noontime, we uh, briefly get near 
60 degrees before it starts to cool off late in the day uh, with these rain showers working in. So, despite the chill that's on the way for tonight, temperatures do moderate this week and towards the end of the week and into the weekend. Another decent day coming up for tomorrow, just pretty cold early in the morning. And then uh, during the afternoon hours, uh, should top out in the uh, upper 40s. So that's the latest. Check back with me uh, tonight at uh, 10 and 11 o'clock on Eyewitness News for your updated forecasts. And meteorologist Michelle Muscatello in early uh, on Wednesday morning at 4.30 a.m. on Eyewitness News. It'll be pretty cold at that time with another update as well. So that's the latest. Thanks for logging in, and we'll talk to you soon.